Hi, I'm Aaron Luthi. I, I teach fourth grade here at Maple Grove Elementary, and I want to show you a little bit of how we use technology in the classroom. What I'll generally do is I'll start off with teaching a lesson and, and give them an opportunity to learn the information. Then what I'll do is I'll use the clickers, where every student um, has their own clicker, and then we'll do uh, generally we'll do a clicker quiz where we can put the problems up on the board. They can see those problems. They all have their own remote control clicker. They can punch in their answers via. Uh, remotely and then it instantly will give me feedback back on how they did on that problem. Um, after everybody inputs their answers uh, I can simply press a button and it'll tell me a percentage of how many were correct. Um, you know after the lesson if I like I can go and I can get a complete data analysis on, on every single student, every single problem and I can, I can pinpoint exactly where mistakes were made, why they were made, and I can pinpoint which students are making those mistakes. And so it gives me that just that instant feedback of how I can better go back and reteach, um, correct, and, and if they have a true understanding, I can move on at a little bit quicker pace. Now, again, we're just getting into this. We're going to use this particular one because we've just started it. This is not necessarily going to go into the grade book. This is going to be used more for me to know where we are. Okay, we'll do this again another time. That's the one that'll go into the actual grade as a quiz, okay? So we look in here, we take a look in, and we look at 84%. Now, you know, we've spent 20 minutes on this. 84% is not bad, okay? So what that tells me right now is that most of us are getting it, okay? And some of us may be a little unsure, and it could have been simply that some of us Right? Some of us maybe made a mental mistake along the way. So as you know, whenever I see a number that's around an 84%, it has me a little bit concerned, but not overly. That's where we like to go here, and we kind of like to look and see what are our responses. Okay? So we can look here, we can see three of us thought it was C, two of us thought it was A. So we missed five. Not terrible. And what I do is I'll look at that percentage, and if I see if that percentage has dropped down to a to a percentage that I'm just not happy with, whether it be below 90%, below 95%, I can instantly stop right there, then I can go back and I can do an instant re, you know, reteach moment. And then as I do the next question, I tend to see that percentage get higher and higher. And by the time I get to the fourth, fifth, and sixth, we're generally at 95% or higher on the clickers. So um, it gives me that real teachable moment where I see that the kids aren't getting it, so why keep plodding along with it? Let's stop reteach and then go back to it. If there's a question on the board, every student has to participate in. And that's how you learn is by participating. Um, so this way it keeps them accountable. But in the same token, it kind of takes away a little bit of that fear. Because um, a lot of times you ask a question and students might be a little bit hesitant to put their hand up in the air because maybe they'll get it wrong. And um, so when they have that fear of getting it wrong, they tend to just maybe not put their hand in the air and not participate and not be as engaged. This way there's no fear. Um, the button goes blue, nobody knows if they got it right or wrong. Um, I certainly can find out. I can go and I can do a quick, like I said, a data analysis. And, and if I find that a student is consistently missing problems, then what I'll do is I'll just pull that individual aside. Um, and we'll just kind of work one-on-one -on -one with that together. And there's really no risk factor as far as um, you know, getting the question wrong in front of your peers. And, and the kids really like that. I like them because, well, you know when you're raising your hand and you don't want to get it wrong? I like the clickers because no one knows what you put. When everyone types in their answer, you can see if you got it right or wrong immediately, except no one really knows, except for the teacher, if you got it right or wrong. 